fight is gonna be a fight. It's gonna look ugly sometimes. Like, you gotta be in the ring, bloodied up, eye swollen, tooth fell out, like fighting for yourself. Hey Bells, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share five ways that you can learn to start trusting yourself. Let me preface by saying that this is something you have to put into practice. There is nothing that you're gonna do in life that you're going to learn and overnight you're just gonna be like, all right, cool, I got self-confidence, I got self-esteem. That's not how that shit works. When it comes to your self-love journey, it is ongoing, you have to put in consistency, there's some discipline involved. I know, girl, it's a, it's a, it's a lot, it's a lot to love you and it's also something Something throughout your life you're going to gain and you're going to lose. I've had periods in my life where I fully trusted myself, I felt confident, I loved myself 100% and I was showing that in the things that I did. But then life happens sometimes, you in a funk, traumatic situations happen, heartbreak, loss, whatever it is, and you kind of have to relearn how to love and how to trust yourself again. And for me, the last few years of my life, I had gone through a lot a lot and I had to realize I had to acknowledge that I did lose a little bit of trust and I had to start working and practicing on gaining that back and these are my own little tips you know I'm not an expert I'm not a professional these are the things that worked for me and I just wanted to share and I wanted to share when I was in a place where I really felt like it was real <laughs> you know what I mean I wasn't trying to have anybody rush my healing there were so many people around me who were just like you know you'll get back on your feet girl you'll be all right, you'll get your business back, and just encouraging me, and I appreciated that, but at that time, oh, I needed so much healing. I needed healing, I needed to be in a place of solitude and silence, and despite, you know, all the encouraging words for me to just get up and move on, God was telling me to sit your ass down. <laughs> God swears, okay? Sometimes he swears. Thankfully, during this season, I really had time to just sit with myself and I started to relearn how to trust myself again. And there's no shame in that, y'all. Like, we're human. If there is anybody who tries to tell you that every single moment of their life, they are consistently on a high, confident, trusting, loving of themselves, girl, they are lying. They are lying. <laughs> If anything, that is where your strength is. Your strength is in the fact that you know that you're human, you know shit is gonna happen, and you have learned how to get yourself back up. When you continuously practice the things that work for you, the more life hits you, the more resilient you become. The first thing that I started to re-practice to start trusting myself again is to be a woman of my word. If you tell yourself every morning I'm gonna wake up at 5 a.m and you show up every morning for yourself and you wake up at 5 a.m. You tell yourself, you know, I'm gonna start eating healthy. I'm gonna limit my social media time. I'm going to spend more time with my family. I Whatever it is, you tell yourself that and you do it and you show up for yourself. That is a way to start trusting yourself because now you can trust your own word. Your own word holds weight and you know if I tell myself I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna come through for me. But if it becomes your habit, if, if it becomes habitual, if that becomes who you are, that you can tell yourself something and you don't even come through for yourself, <laughs> that's something you want to check because that does play a role in how much you can actually trust yourself and trust your word. And you don't have to be hard on yourself. Be compassionate in that process. Be forgiving in that process, but make a commitment to start doing the things that you fucking say you're going to do. The second thing that I did to start trusting myself more is I started to listen to myself more. Nowadays, I feel like there's so much competition out there. There's so many people who are showing us maybe a lifestyle that we want to obtain for ourselves. There's so much noise. It can really distract you from who you genuinely are, what you think, what you feel, what your opinions are. Everybody wants to jump on the bandwagon. Everybody wants to be politically correct. And sometimes all of that noise 
noise, it really does muddy up what you have going on in your own head. What are your own unique individual thoughts? And give light to that, give a voice to that, honor that. If you are feeling sad, if you are feeling angry, don't just suppress and bury those emotions. Be your own listening ear. And, and I know it sounds silly, but sometimes you really gotta sit there and be like, how are you feeling today? That made you mad? Why that make you mad? Oh, that's why that made you mad? Is there is there another way you think you could have handled that? Have a fucking conversation with yourself. Who you are today was not who you were yesterday. Maybe your opinions have changed. Maybe your idea of the world has changed. We are spiritual beings. We have a level of intuition that can't be explained with facts and logic. Don't ignore that side of who you are spiritually because you know you're caught up in your human brain. Okay, listen to your spirit sometimes, girl. It be talking <laughs> if he's talking another way you could re-solidify and grow the trust that you have for yourself is to start to ask yourself more questions asking yourself why is it will free you from so many things y'all when you do something or when you're feeling some sort of way stopping to ask yourself why as silly as it is a lot of these have to do with a lot of like being your own friend asking why has helped me to learn to trust myself so much more because it's like that friend who actually wants to hear what you have to say imagine you're having a conversation with somebody and you're pouring your heart out, you're saying all this shit, and they're just kind of sitting there like, mm, mm. You want somebody who's gonna engage. You want somebody who is gonna, you know, be a good conversationalist, go deeper, ask you why. You want that dialogue. Be that person for yourself. And one of the best ways to start dialogue with yourself is to just simply ask, why? I love dogs, why? I love dogs because, you know, they're cute and cuddly and I love that sort of affection. Why? I love that sort of affection because I feel like it's something that I lacked growing up and I wish I had that and I feel like I can only get that from dogs. Why? Well, I guess I never really put myself out there to get that from human beings. Why? Because I'm scared. When I tell you asking yourself why, and I know it sounds silly, I know it sounds silly, don't look at me like I'm crazy, but asking yourself why and genuinely answering the questions will help you to learn so much about yourself and the more you start to learn yourself the more you start to trust yourself if you're in a relationship with somebody and they are not making an effort to learn you to explore you that's somebody that I know in past experience that I can't trust. You have not taken the time to get to know me, the ins and outs of me. How can you really start to build trust? Trust off of what? You don't know who I am. And you have to think of that for yourself as well. If you don't take the time to learn who you are, can you really say that you trust yourself if you don't even know yourself? And the best way to start to know yourself is to start asking why? Being kind and compassionate to you is another way to start trusting yourself more. If you cannot love yourself the way you need to love yourself, nobody else is going to be able to do it for you. Nobody else should be obligated to do it for you. When you've had a rough day or you know a rough situation occurred and you're able to go to the person who loves you and cares for you and just have them hold you and embrace you and be under understanding and be compassionate you know how good that shit feels it's like you just feel heard you feel validated which a lot of us because childhood trauma is real y'all a lot of us have not been validated and so we get older and we don't know how to validate ourselves one of the best ways to do that is through compassion being compassionate when you're feeling hurt when you're feeling sad when you're feeling betrayed when you're feeling depressed when you're feeling lonely just being like it is okay for you to feel this way come into my loving arms hold yourself <laughs> what that does is it creates a safe space within yourself you know that you can go to you to be at peace you can go to you for comfort for relaxation to be able to vent to you don't have to get that through an external source you can provide yourself that just be like you know what girl we doing the best we can how can I make you feel a little bit better in this moment the last thing that 
I did to really start to solidify the trust that I had for myself to start to build that is I started to praise myself for every little tiny little win. Being your own biggest cheerleader. During my workouts y'all, one day I'm going to record my one of my workouts for you so you guys could see because I do high intensity interval workouts and I do strength training. I would be outside in my driveway going in. During my workout, I'm literally giving myself a pat on the back. I'm I'm hitting myself like come on B you got this give me another one give me another one. I'll do like 10 burpees or whatever and I'll be like all right girl give me another 10 I literally am that person for me it makes you feel so good it makes you feel so good and it honors the different sides of yourself so there's a burly in me that feels like she can't complete the workout that she you know she feels tired she wants to give up but there's another burly in me that's a beast and she's like nah B give me another one let that person speak and let that person start praising you. If you accomplish a chore that you said that, you know, you didn't feel like doing and at the end of the day you did that chore, praise yourself. You, you know, graduated from school, high school, college, whatever, praise yourself. You ace the test, praise yourself. If you're somebody who battles with depression and you had a whole month where you were just in a funk, but that one day you were good, Praise yourself. Be like, you had a good day today, girl. That's what I like to see. Say that to yourself. That's what I like to see. That smile. That's what I like to see. All right, Bells, so that's the end of the video. I hope you learned something. You know, I'm a huge believer. Take what you need, leave the rest. So if some of this spoke to you, take it, run with it. If it didn't, that's cool. Leave it behind for somebody else to pick up, all right? <laughs> um, but I hope that this video helped you. I hope it inspired you and encouraged you to really learn to trust yourself and to start that journey with yourself. Because when you love yourself more, more love, gets spread into the world and it's better for all of us okay I don't want to be walking around with stink ass people in this world <laughs> who, who just hurting people and doing people wrong okay so I hope you enjoyed this video and of course if you haven't already done so and you feel like you could be part of this tribe make sure you subscribe and I will catch you in the next video bye